Who knows this inch? Fragile. Must be Italian. It's the Italian Fragile. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what Set. do we got? Set straight from J Metal USA. I ordered it from some blah blah oven dot com. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the comments or something. But Art, they have the best deals. Art's got a new toy. Open I it got up. My new samurai swords here. It's my. Uh, this will be the extension of his arm are soon you enough. Are the trading tools or? This is your money maker. Okay. This in the oven. We didn't go cheap. It's not the cheap toy. Which is weird to hear Art say. Yeah, because. <laughs> I just, I ordered a cheap one for $20 from Walmart. But oh yeah, he ordered one, it showed up, it was a, like a child's toy. We were, we were giggling, we should have, we should, we should have did a review of this the one. This is the G-Metal Azura, 8 inch, and the uh, handle is 59 inch, that's, I was worried that it's going to be maybe too big for our... Pretty. Oh, I'm going to put it. Table. Thanks for the coffee art. So what we're gonna do is that's what the most important. He's using his peeler most of his life. Like All he's right. already changing blades here and customizing it. This thing is the one that came with the oven. I got custom careful that end's gonna be hot. I got custom Scott motorcycle grips on, on my handles. See my my handles. The motocross handle. I need two new grips. If anybody's changing their grips on their dirt bike, I'll take the old ones. I'm poor like that. <laughs> so here we go. There's, there's the custom made versus the almost hundred dollar Italy made. Ooh, that one's seasoned. Italy was your safe. Well, what's good about it? See, mine. Mine was tack welded on on the back side. You can see the welding. And the ends, you know, they get worn here. I'm always filing it. And it just, after uh, six years, I think it was, I had a five years, five and a half years, I just made a template off the old one and had a guy yeah. cut me out of one of stainless steel and weld a new one on there. So I'm on my second paddle. I'm on my second brush, which... Uh, the replacement heads I couldn't find or they were expensive or something so I bought one from Restaurant Depot and I made my own replacement head. Look at that. Here we have the Classic. Zura model made in Italy, 59 inch. Brace, Bristol's brass. Brass. Brass, Bristol's brass. You got some brass. I'm just going to rip it, I guess. I'm uh, turning there. Turning the air back on. Okay, we're getting hot here. We're Turn. not sponsored by nobody, so all the reviews are gonna be true. I always dream to tell this, like I see all those guys doing it. So you know me, all my reviews are gonna be true. But the, the interesting part, he's gonna try to use those, and he have 10 years of experience in this, in, in all with those, those tools. I have two days experience. And I'm using these tools, and he's gonna try those tools, and he's gonna tell you guys if it's worth the hundred dollars to spend on it. This brush was 80 bucks. The peel was almost 80, but on their website they cost more. And that seems to be about the going price, I think, on these oven tools the, anymore. To save on the shipping, which I is just, wild. To save on the shipping, I just got a bunch of. Where should I drop them? It's like all clean stuff. What is it? It's uh, easy on my coffee. The little peels and the cutters, and maybe here they're all right here. Oh, and the sign thingy. I order like yours. Oh, nice. I don't know if it's gonna be jam metal or not, but uh, a ticket, a ticket thing. He was trying to get the free shipping, so he spent an extra like sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, because they want forty dollars for shipping. And I'm like, I might as well just spend a little bit more and just get this So these, shipping. these dough scrapers are pretty much like 12 bucks each. You can go to Home Depot and get a putty knife for about two yeah, to like, three dollars. So yeah, this was... That's actually, that's a uh, dough mate scraper oh, so offset so. handle there. I love that thing. That thing is, a brand that's name. worth its weight in gold. So we have our brand name, J Metal. Oh, there you go. All right, we got a call. Back to you. We'll be back.
All right, guys, the moment of truth. We are using the J Metal uh, turning peel. Eric already first uh, comment that he's saying it's a little bit longer than he is. This is the brush. How's the brush feel? The bristles are nice, but Maybe. we've already we've got a, we've already got a catastrophic fail. She's spinning around on the head. I'll fix it here. We're gonna try to fix it and see if it's just cheap made or <laughs> we just didn't screw something tighter. How's your... Uh, you want me to bend it the way it should be bent? <laughs> <laughs> what is your first impression? I don't know, it's... I think you're using the wrong side, no, with the stick. Oh, no, you good, you good, yeah. Yeah, I need to get used to the sides now. I don't know, now. it's... Uh, it handles, everything's much thinner. But it feels strong. We'll see right now. Adding some wood. The brush already was a little bit shaky. Oh, it looked like he's touching it for the first time. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh... <laughs> It seems like he was not confident with his turning yeah, at this point. I feel like I'm too far away from it, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a new hand in your like it's new like you said it's the hand extension of your hand so I guess like I just put new hands on your hand. It just feels it feels small and cheap to me because I'm so used to this bigger heavier. Bar. It's definitely it's, lighter it's thicker, though. It's thicker. It's heavier. Like you can see the thickness. It, yeah. I don't want to break this thing. You're not gonna break this thing. I think it's under warranty uh, still. I just heard I heard the first rivet scrape on the oven. Oh the bottom screws? Yeah. It definitely needs to be bent to be comfortable. Because it wants to dig it's it's bent up. And it's wanting to dig into the bottom of the pizza. I've got mine bent down. Gotcha. So we need so to it, make a little angle for it. Hear yeah. that scrape of the. You can hear how it's scratching your floor. They, it's. I wonder how a hundred dollar tool have this design like this that is scratching your. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's going to do any damage, but you can definitely hear it breaking. Maybe something that using those tools for longer can give us a tip if it's eventually just like getting a little bit flatter after you scratch it a few times. All right. Oh, it'll definitely wear those rivets down. Yeah. You know, it's all what you learn on too. If this is what you learn on, you're not going to know any different. But uh, it's a beautiful I, pie. I de the head definitely needs to be bent down. All right, guys, so that was the J metal review. We're gonna... So, let's look at them here. The difference right away. Right now I'm gonna put those in. Yeah, see, this one's starting to come off. Mine's pointing down. You do need... I wonder if we can take a few inches off, because it's, it's awkward long? being so long. But this thing... I got mitts too, so I'm just used to, this is more comfortable, the thicker in my hand. I would have to get used to the slide. I've never used a slide. I'm always stationary. Maybe for my smaller hands, it's going to be better because I have, I have smaller hands, I think. The plastic weirds me out. I can't get over it. The sliding piece? Well, just having plastic on something that's... Metal? You can definitely get way in there with it. Yeah, eventually I guess you'll just wear that stuff down. So like... But you know what? And when it's bent, if you bend it... You gotta... It a little bit it angle. It won't scrape as much because you're not... I'm trying to get it down underneath. 
So now, uh, like they're doing like this one bite of pizza review. What is your first touch feeling review about it? It feels cheap. Cheap? It feels cheap and... Uh, it's good that nobody sponsored it. I, I, <laughs> I was like, why well, you say it's cheap? Could, yeah. I mean, be, you want me to be honest about it, it, it just feels cheap. I can't wait to get like a good piece of wood that I gotta move over to see how... How it's know, bending or... Yeah, how sturdy it is. But this thing just, you know, I feel like I could... It, Do you just, have confidence in the way that you can load on it compared to mine? Yeah, it just it feels. But look at how mine too, no rivets up top like this one. So smooth, yeah. And the same thing underneath. So smooth on yours, kind of smooth on the bottom. Was welded. Yeah. I guess it all depends on what you learn on, but my first initial, yeah, you would definitely, I'd be fine using it over time. But it seems cheap. We'll see how it holds up. We the brush? It's we, in there. Now. We're already having some issues with the brush. All right, my initial thoughts on this brush, I think we just, once we tighten the head up, does it pull down? Yeah. Tighten this head up, see if we can't keep it from spinning. It was planned on first. One screw is a terrible design. You, you really need to have. We're two. probably gonna end up drilling you one more. You gotta have two screws to keep your head from spinning. This is, this is rookie. I, you see, they got the spikes that go in. To I'll help. be honest with you. I not understand for what they asking eighty dollars here. But there's two spikes here that are going in to help it from spinning. You were just. We're gonna have to wrench down on those. But you can see the spikes aren't going in. So this is a poor design. But. And I don't know why you need a scraper. You're not going to be scraping the floor. But the bristles are really nice. Mine are much stiffer. I used to have soft bristles like this. And as long as this aluminum bar, I mean, it's flexing all over the place. As long as it holds steady. It's holding steady? No, I'm saying as long as it does. It just feels like as I'm brushing, it's just... Moving around, like changing... Good brush though. Super soft bristles. They'll fold over pretty quick. So yeah, this thing keeps wanting to spin on us when we, it needs another. We're, we're gonna have to drill a hole and put another screw through so there. So we're drilling another hole. So GI, this is a. We're drilling another hole after first use in GI. Poor, poor design, guys. <laughs> poor design. These studs, these two points aren't deep enough, and you're back in. You need two screws. So that, that's lesson learned there. 80 bucks Azura or whatever was the model brush. Three this, screws on mine. This is his old school This tool. was a super long one that I, actually, I took two super long thin ones and I cut them in half, screwed them together. So that way I've got uh, a nice here. little head. And then when that one wears out, we have a replacement tool. My backup's ready to go. It'll be a brand new one. So guys, we're gonna review those cutters as soon as we deal with more dough tonight, maybe, or next time. Yeah. We're gonna do a separate thing. Thank you for watching. Yep. Like, subscribe. subscribe. And I'm we're here. GI, it's real. This is real stuff. I, I'm, just I'm so disappointed, initial, man. I'm giving my initial thoughts. It's the Rolls Royce of the tools those this days. This hangs here because it... Like it you never for, use this peel. It as works well. for some, but in the summer when the dough's super soft, it go, the, it's hard to get off there because the dough wants to get into those. So it's like holes. three GI metal tools that we just completely this disappointed. This one's been for. hanging here since it, it was bought six, seven years ago. I gave up on that one immediately. I can't be wasting time losing like, pieces. Is is working with this one? Classic it slides off. Put in some flour and slide in. So yeah, so uh, the, the turning peels still have a chance. The brush <laughs> need to be already modified. Yeah, we gotta modify the brush, no doubt. Turning peel, we'll have to just see how it holds up. All right, guys. We'll see you later. It would be nice to cut that thing down now. Plus you wanna cut the turning peel now. Okay, guys, see you later. <laughs> <That's it. laughs>